Good morning, my name is Lidia Valera Braz. I'm a PhD student of the University of Valencia. I'm going to be describing briefly the work I have been conducting with another professor, Professor Guillermo Lopez Garcia, and that we both have published in the research journal Revista Latina de Comunicación Social in 2014. So this research um, has the following title, Agenda and Frames in the Websites of the People's Party and the Socialist Party, in the Civil Campaign 2011. And, uh, well, this research examines the role of the websites of the two main political forces in Spain, the Socialist and the People's Party, during the general election campaign in 2011. So, we conceive these websites as um, spaces which are completely controlled by the parties and spaces uh, where they implement and develop their campaign strategies in, a, in very different senses. First of all, they select the, the issues that they, that they want to impose in the public space for discussion. Second, they also um, express their framing of the political reality. And finally, they also use these um, online spaces for launching attacks against their opponents. At the same time, websites are naturally also spaces uh, subject to public scrutiny. And uh, that way, mm, the campaign strategies that the parties reproduce there are um, also inspired to some extent by the media logic of content dissemination. So, um, this study offers an analysis of three uh, questions at the same time. These are, uh, first of all, the composition of the political agenda of each party. Second, we also offer an analysis of the nature of the attacks on the political rivals. And third, we also provide an analysis of the framing of both parties of the campaign election and concretely we analyze the framing of the economic crisis since we think that this event uh, absolutely centered the whole process. Um, and four hypotheses have helped us to guide this, this study. First of all, the issues given priority um, in the parties and websites, we think um, they are related to the institutional history of both parties in order to offer um, to the voters a current and recognizable image. Um, derived from this hypothesis, we have the second one, which, um, which says that social issues predominate, predominate in the agenda of the Socialist Party, and while economic issues are the ones that center the, the People's Party agenda. Third, um, we assess, we think that the attack on political rivals is a resource that is regularly being used to in the internet and not just in traditional media. And fourth, we also think that the nature of these accusations made between parties allows to identify the values that underlie the framing of the economic crisis. Regarding the methodology, um, well, this study is based on the combination of classic content analysis variables such as issues, main characters and assessments of these main characters in the news with also new variables related to the nature of the of the attack on the political rivals. We actually developed a new methodology with five different uh, categories to analyze uh, this, this kind of uh, political attacks. And then we also offer um, double quantitative and qualitative method for the framing analysis. We actually combine concretely, we combine a quantitative analysis of framing terms frequencies with a qualitative discourse analysis. So the conclusions, um, the results have, have shown in this case that both parties emphasize actually issues that really fit with their party history. Um, social issues are emphasized in the case of the socialist agenda and economic issues center the People's Party agenda. So that 
we confirm both first and second hypothesis. And then, regarding negativism, we actually uh, can say, according to our empirical, res empirical results, that this negativism trend has also moved to the internet and that is being systematically used by both parties in their, in their online campaign strategies. And third, um, our study of the framing processes uh, has shown that the framing is based on very different values according to each party. In the case of the Socialist Party, the framing of the economic crisis is deeply ethical and it's um, limited to normative claims and um, doesn't come to the concrete political action that this ethical principle should translate in. And in the case of the People's Party, the framing of the economic, uh, of the economic crisis is uh, deeply materialistic, we could say. It's based on values such as efficiency and good governance, good administration, which allows the People's Party to avoid um, more specific and clear um, ideological and programmatic states. So that's mainly our description of the work that we have been conducting and I invite you to read the article and get a much more detailed impression of our work. Thank you.